Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, this is Elementary OS Loki, and in this video we're going to be going over how to do an in-place upgrade to the newest release. So to start off, you're going to need to get into TTY mode, and you can do that by pressing Control alt and then F1. Now when it does that, for me, it's going to shrink the screen. From there you can log in. And uh, after that, you need to get to root mode. So that would be sudo s, enter your password. Then you need to stop the login daemon, and that is sudo systemctl stop light vm. So at this point, you need to update all the packages. So just do apt, apt update, apt upgrade, tech y let it install all the packages. Now that the updates are installed, we can go ahead and do the distribution upgrades. So to do that, you would do apt Sorry folks, my keyboard gets stuck out of the virtual machine sometimes. So anyways, type in apt dis upgrade. This is going to go through, get a lot of different files that we need. So the distribution upgrade is going to take quite a while and it's going to fully upgrade everything possible that it has and it's going to install it. And this is, this isn't the full upgrade to Juno yet, but it's like, we're getting close. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to do apt apt show hold so the next thing we need to do is uh, we, I, and I entered the command wrong it's a mistake that I make sometimes we need to do apt show apt mark show hold now this is going to show any held back packages and of course we don't have any so we can continue on so this next section of the tutorial and how to upgrade, I'm going to pull out my written tutorial and this is because this is very important so I want to make sure that you guys understand it completely and you can see what I'm doing. So we need to change over the sources. So let's start off by doing sed tack y quote s senial bionic g and then it needs to go to at c apt sources.list. Now you need to make sure you look through this and make sure it looks exactly the same. So we have said I s zenial slash bionic slash g z e n i a a l slash bionic b i o n i c and I'm just spelling it out because if you enter this wrong everything is going to break. And then we need to do the same thing with the app center. So let's change this to apt sources list D and then app center list. And let's do the same thing with the elementary one. And then let's do the same thing with patches. Okay, now I'm going to go into Etsy apt sources list and just make sure. Okay, so now we see this has changed to Bionic. So we can go back to the tutorial here and we can do sudo. And you can do a simulate upgrade and the simulate is going to test it and make sure it works. So let's do apt simulate and then upgrade so let's do apt update 
that'll refresh our sources and it's going to find any errors so if there's not a release file if we enter anything wrong it's going to tell us and uh, we'll have to run the simulate upgrade again just to check that out and make sure it's okay so let's do simulate upgrade again so this is going to have broken packages and I wrote about this earlier in the post installation. So uh, real quick, do sudo remove Perl modules 522. Just uninstall it. And uh, that should fix the problem. And then we can go ahead and do the upgrade again, simulate upgrade again, just to make sure everything's okay. So we do not have any broken packages. We can go ahead and go through and install it. Just gotta wait for the simulation to finish. Just press Control C, so, and then let's do sudo apt upgrade tech y. Now this is going to fully upgrade us to Juno. All these packages are going to install. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So I will be right back. So during the upgrade, you're going to see a question, and the configuration file is going to ask you if you want to replace it or to keep it. So the default action is to keep it. I would say don't keep it and replace it. So press the Y button and go through. And we will continue to install our upgrades to transition to the new version of elementary OS. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this in a virtual machine instead of on bare metal hardware, because, uh, you know, elementary OS is not known to play well on virtual machines. The reason is, is because I need to be able to show you every aspect of this process. And that means that the terminal prompt needs to be recorded. And the only way I can do that is with this, you know, this kind of setup. So, you know, it works. So it's just going through and it's upgrading our packages and it'll be done very soon. All right, so the update has finished. The last last thing we need to do is we need to run the dist upgrade command again. And this is gonna just install a couple more upgrades. And uh, this is a smaller upgrade, not as big as the other one, but it's still important. And uh, I know we ran this earlier, but uh, as you switch package sources, you gotta do it a couple times. So we'll let this go. And when it's done, we will be able to finally use Juno. So now that the upgrade is done, we can go and reboot our computer. So I will be rebooting it and I will be right back. And as we can see, Juno is getting ready to start up. And uh, yep, that's the new version. So it does work, you guys. Gonna log into my account and we will finish up the installation process. So <clears throat> when you upgrade, the first thing to do is to run the update command. Now, if I run sudo apt update, enter my password, you may notice that there's some problems. Now this problem could be the GPG key doesn't show up or the signing key for the repositories don't show up. It didn't happen for me this time, but I cover it here. So if that happens to you, just run the recovery. For some reason it didn't happen to me in this time, uh, in this upgrade here, which is pretty good. Um, I think that something might have gotten fixed. But if you check this image out here, the first time I ever wrote, I wrote the article for this, I got this error. So it does happen, and if it happens to you, you can just go ahead and enter that there. But that's all she wrote. We've got the new version of Elementary OS, and just to show you that I'm not kidding. We will install NeoFetch so I can show you. So this is the newest version of Elementary OS. It is Juno, Elementary OS 5.0. So the last thing to do before I get out of here is you need to run sudo apt auto remove. 
Auto remove is going to uninstall all of the old packages from the old version. It's a quick process. It'll just delete everything that you had previously. And then after that, you'll be able to just use your distro as normal. And that's an in-place upgrade. Please understand that this upgrade process is a, an unofficial one. It's not endorsed by the developers and the developers probably don't want you to do this, but if you don't want to do uh, a reinstall by burning a disc and all of that, this is how you can get it done. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I've always loved elementary OS and I'm glad that I could bring you the information to show you how to upgrade without needing to go through the, you know, the annoying burning process. So I'm going to get going, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.